wants to see a little carb tuning action on a small block Ford with Steve Relay at West Tech Performance. In this video, we're going to see Steve Relay from West Tech Performance in action on this carbureted small block Ford. We've got a 408 stroke Windsor, and what really attracted me to this particular motor and this particular video is the fact that this stroker motor, the 408 351 Windsor based stroker, has AFR enforcer heads on it. But more importantly, we get to see Steve in action tuning the carburetor and the combination to make it all work. It's all about those AFR enforcer heads. Yeah. Yeah, power valve change. So what was in there? What power valve was in there? 6.5. And then what'd you change it to? 10.5. Cool. Oh yeah. We're gonna see if we have to change the, uh, the front high speed air bleeds. Oh, okay. So we went from uh, 32 on the rears on the high speed air bleeds. This thing also has an idle circuit in the middle, right? Correct. Small block Ford power. Yeah. seem to help. Now let's see what the fuel flow is. Here's what it did in the air fuel ratio. So that's changing the air fuel ratio. That's, that's from the um, air bleed, right? Yeah. Change. Okay. But no, it may actually look like it's flowing more fuel in the front. It does slightly. So we increased air fuel, I mean uh, fuel flow in by the doing front. that? Yeah. You could probably almost Honestly, you could almost go back in and pull out another two or three jets out of the front. Maybe two. So what's the air fuel now? It, it, it's a, it's I mean, it's, I know it's ranging, but... Yeah, it's a it's half on the roll and it's, it's low 12. It's from mid-12s to, you know, mid-12s it goes as high, as rich as high 11s. Okay. But as lean as high 12s. 13. So it's going to be hard to uh, You're not get that without that. affecting it somewhere else, right? Solid that's, roll. A nice that's, what, that's what solid rollers look like. 
And this is a fairly small pan, right? 236, 242. Okay, so for a, so for a 408. And just, um, Are you thinking about taking some jet out of it? Although just, you... Just two. Okay. Because you said it was up in the high to mid 12s already at the leanest point, right? Yeah, so I, I mean, but it, it's a quick transition area in there. That's okay. Unless it were a truck, which I don't think it is. Yeah. It's just kind of a short area right in here, like 4,000. You'd be driving yeah. through it at wide open if you were ever even in there. And I doubt he'd be loading it at that RPM at wide open throttle for any length of time. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, unless yeah. it's in a truck. Yeah. Accelerate through that. Yeah. I take a couple out of the front. I think they make really good power. These are good carburetors. I forgot about the um, the idle adjustment in the center of these things. Yeah, these are yeah. I only remember when I walked by and was whistling at me. Now, does that change the? If you're adjusting the idle from the um, from this part right here, yes, it does change. It changes it. That the one on top is just air. This is air and idle transfer slot. Okay. That affects the fuel where it's coming from, also. Okay. So you could maybe use those two to kind of balance it, then, right? Exactly. Yeah. If you're a bigger camper, you need more idle speed, but you don't want to take it completely out of the idle transfer slot. Okay. It's the same reason that you see guys going. Yeah, because they've been doing that for a long time, right? I remember the card shop used to do that on a lot of their stuff. They had that idle these things very randomly. Oh. So I don't know if I changed the price for a while. Well, he invented it after that. <laughs> All right, so what are you changing? What, uh, was, what was in there? Changing the jets, so we had 88s in it. Okay. And then uh, we got to go two down, so we're going to put... Uh, 86s? 86s. Nice. So we'll just, uh, you know, look at your jets every single time, make sure that they're both the same. Yeah, just because you get them from a bin doesn't, yeah. <laughs> doesn't mean they're yeah, the bad, 88s, right? so you drop them in the 88s, which is right Double eight. Boom, 88. And 88. Nice. And then we grab our 86s. And again, double check your jets. Make sure that you're grabbing the right ones. Oh yeah, eight to the six, yo. Eight six. Eight six. Somebody might put one in there a little dyslexic. Put a 68 in there. Kind of balance it out. If yeah. You're too rich. Yeah. One. And the deuce. Come on. Sometimes they don't want to cooperate. Go click, click. Just do one of those. When I'm grabbing jets from here, I only like using the shiny ones. And, and I won't leave, ever... I, leave all the rusty ones for... Yeah, if I, like, see, so you can see the... <laughs> I only like doing the shiny ones, but if I have to grab one of the old ones, then I have to grab two of the old ones. You cannot mix and match an old one and a shiny one. Not that it really makes any difference, but it makes me feel better. Yeah, because then the next guy that goes in, they're like, what the heck? Man, who did that? All right, let's put it in. Well, you know, your jet size, uh, your jet space uh, inside the car pole. Yep. That's your power valve. Yeah. Clink, clink, clink. Slide that bad boy right there. Drop her in. It's nice working on a new carburetor that has good gaskets and all that. Yeah. You don't have to put this thing on the vise to get the metering plate off or... Otherwise they, the gaskets tear. And... Yeah. You just torque those in with a half inch impact, right? 
jets in it. It's got like, you just went from 88s down to 86s. It's got a pretty good size Venturi. It's probably coming. I, I don't know what it comes with from the factory. It's probably high 80s or early 90s right from the bottom. Okay. Do you think that this thing can get away with a smaller carburetor? Uh, probably. Like an 850? Yeah. 
Click, click, two degrees. I remember going out and testing them a couple of times. How much timing is that? Uh, that's two. Might be two and a half. And I go out and check out the light. It was two. <laughs> Because we don't know, do you know what springs and stuff are in that? Is it? It's probably all in by the load in point though, right? Yeah, it's probably all in by 3500. Okay. Probably have a blue and a silver, a blue and a blue. Yeah. Okay guys, what do we learn from this little adventure tuning this carbureted 408 Stroker small block forward? First thing, Steve Relay from West Tech Performance, when it comes to carburetors, is not to be trifled with. He knows what he's doing. And this is pretty typical when somebody brings the motor out, they go through the tuning process. They're gonna change things like jets and air bleeds and power valves. They're gonna make the carburetor work for the combination on the dyno. The most important thing, choose the right carburetor going in. I'm Richard Older. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. More and more testing coming up.